right, y'all. So, um, as I already told y'all, I was going to try to just rebuild the motor and get it running and buy new tires. But as it stands right now, I'm probably just going to build this thing the way I want it to. What I plan on doing so far is getting new A-arms, new tires, of course, a new axle, a new rear axle, a new steering stem. Uh, I may get a new radiator, but uh, I'm trying to, I'm kind of, kind of on a strict budget. I got a certain number in my mind that I want to get and not go over. But of course, you know, I got to rebuild the motor, but I'm going to probably get some Nerf bars, some cool Alba Nerf bars. And uh, hopefully I can just keep it at that and, and a bunch of other small stuff for either the motor or bolts and stuff that I'm missing. Uh, I'm trying not to go too crazy with the spinning on this bike, but it's probably gonna take a little bit to get it to where I want it. And uh, the seat, I'll get a new seat cover. But I'm gonna give you guys a look at my setup. Uh, I'm gonna probably use those wheels because these ones have a, I thought I had a bend on one of them. They're actually pretty good. They're straight. Yeah, but um, the wheels are actually mismatched. The rear are black and the front are gray. And I don't really want to dedicate money for powder coating those wheels because uh, sometime down the line I plan on buying new wheels. So back to what I was saying. Uh, I got my tools set up here. Some tools on there. All of my liquids and oils and lubricants and stuff right there and i got more tools and stuff down there gas tank uh got the pipes right there oh and the uh the silences are actually pretty pretty screwed up i didn't really pay close attention to them before but they are i also got this new chain i bought this chain off ebay it was like twenty dollars I actually don't know if I should even use it because it was so cheap. I also bought a cheap flywheel off of eBay and it didn't work. Yeah, you see that? I screwed it in. Couldn't even get it to go all the way in. And silly me, I tried to pull a flywheel off anyway and it didn't work. So I have to get a new flywheel puller. The flywheel threads are actually, they still look pretty good hopefully they aren't screwed up but um yeah the cylinders that's what I want to talk to you about these cylinders are screwed and I think this is probably why the bike actually blew up if you can see that little piece right there let me see get you a better view of it there's a very small piece right there and it hangs out past the act past the actual but yeah that little piece right there hangs out past the cylinder board and it's one spot on that side and another spot on the other side on the same cylinder these are cheap chinese cylinders um and i'm thinking that that might be actually why the bike blew up it could be a number of things i honestly don't know to tell you the truth but i'm gonna build it myself this time and Hopefully it'll go a lot better. I'm gonna buy some uh, ported OEM cylinders from eBay and I'll run those. But uh, most of this budget is gonna be going towards either the engine or the suspension, meaning the axle and the A-arms. I won't be able to get shocks this time, but I'll be able to get them next time. Or later on down the line now what I'm about to do now is remove the wheels the a arms and the axle to check the bearings and once I go through and probably check about three or four times and make sure that I'm not missing anything uh, that I need to order because I already have a list on eBay and Rocky Mountain ATV and Alba of the parts that I want to buy and if I find anything else that I need, then I have to add it to one of those carts. I don't basically I don't want to have to wait for parts 
on some uh once I order the first time. Alright y'all. This right here is why I use a lot of grease every time. Every time I'm assembling something, I always use a lot of grease. If it's not going, if the grease ain't, if the grease ain't going to hurt nothing in the spot that I'm using, I use as much of it as I can fit in there. This hub was kind of seized onto that uh, axle and it's only wet because I put a little lube on it to try to get it to break loose. I had to bang on it with this hammer and then uh there was a stud missing out of this hub the hub it still looks usable i think i can yeah i think i can still use this hub i'll probably just buy a new stud to put in there and reuse it of course i'm gonna have to clean it up a bit but um yep i got these hubs off and i probably won't reuse this axle i'll probably just put it up uh just in case somebody else might need one. Cause a few of my buddies got benches too. But um, I'm gonna take the, the axle off. I'm gonna check the axle bearings and I'm gonna try to take that gear off, that uh, sprocket if I can. Yeah, I'm gonna take the sprocket off and then I'm gonna take these a ones off. Yeah. actually put y'all in a better better spot so you can see what I'm actually doing. Alright I got the shitty ass seals off of the the axle carrier and Believe it or not, this is actually what it looked like after I cleaned it up a little bit. Those bearings are toast. This one, just muddy and dirt and all kind of stuff. It actually won't even move with my finger. So, those are seized up. I probably could break them loose and clean them up, but I'm just going to go ahead and order a new uh, axle bearing kit. It's only like $20, I think. So that's, that's gonna have to be added on my list. And uh, got the axle out. The axle is in decent shape. It's not horrible. Um, but I'm gonna be getting a new axle anyway. So now I'm gonna get, go ahead and start on the front with the A-arms. And this is the uh, gear holder, I guess you wanna call it. Sprocket holder. Um, it's good, the splines are fine, the sprocket is actually pretty bad because all of the all of the little teeth are slanted, so I'm going to get a new sprocket for the front and the rear, and like I told you earlier, I got that cheap eBay chain that I might throw on, so I'm going to go ahead and set you up here. Right, so I got the A-arms off and the shocks and stuff and um, I just have to take the spindles off of the A-arms and I'm not really in a rush because I haven't even ordered the new A-arms yet but um, I have to put new bearings in the front hubs because they're shot especially this one that was on the right side but um I guess that's all for today.